American Made, a movie that is called American Made, but yet is not released in America for another month compared to everyone else in the fucking world has it now. So that's a bit ironic. But American Made stars Tom Cruise, Donald Gleason, Sarah Wright, and is directed, probably produced, uh, by Doug Lyman. Nearly forgot his name. If people don't know who Doug Lyman and he's di he directed, I think produced as well, uh, Edge of Tomorrow, Born Identity, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So he's done a few things, and obviously action comedies are kind of his, his uh, you know, go-tos are probably more action than comedy. Uh, but this movie is a true story. It is a biopic. This is based on a character named Barry Seal. He is a pilot that gets recruited by the CIA, CIA to, de to deliver stuff overseas, which then he bumps into the cartel, who then get him to deliver stuff to America, and he's working for both sides. And this is a crazy story. This is something that is definitely different to what I've seen before. Obviously, people know the story of the cartel, people know Pablo Escobar and that name, people don't really know what happened on the other side. And we kind of get to see both sides of, you know, this cartel and what happened in this, there's this war going on as well over in South America. And you see this character, Barry, played by Tom Cruise, and he is kind of delivering both and, you know, getting the boast of both worlds and building up this big, you know, empire uh, of, of money. And I won't talk too much about the, the the plot itself because I didn't know anything that was going on because I hadn't I wasn't too aware of the actual truth, which is uh, you know based in the seventies and eighties. So I, I wasn't born then, so I didn't go through this. So people may know and you know might be less of a climax for them. But first off, the acting, the acting in this movie was just was fantastic. I think Tom Cruise kind of fell off a little bit, and um, even the Mummy this year he fell off a little bit. I don't think it's necessarily acting, but the movies it is it's kind of 50-50. This movie really did well to bring out a really great Tom Cruise. I think he killed it. This is, you know, he's a pilot, very Top Gun-ish, um, and he's been around for a long time, so to keep an actor uh, so, you know, well used for so long is, ph is phenomenal, and he definitely was, was very good in this movie. He kind of has that Tom Cruise quality about, you know, that he puts into his characters. He's not like some actors like Leonardo DiCaprio or Johnny Depp, where you can see that it's not them. You know it's Tom Cruise. It is a Tom Cruise, you know, Tom Cruise-ish character. Like, he's always got the same traits, but he kind of does his own spin on these characters. As well as, uh, Doodle Gle <laughs> Donal Donal Gleason. That is a crazy name. People would know how that same spelled. It's D-O-M-H-A-N-A-L-L. -L. So that's, I had to look up how to say his name because it's crazy. And he was really, really good in this movie. He slid in there very well. Sarah Wright was pretty good as well. And this movie, I think, was very engaging. That is the biggest thing I can say about this movie. It's very engaging. It keeps you very entertained the entire movie. The entire movie, you're kind of sitting there and you, you, you're you really invested in the story, having a lot of fun with some of the stuff he does and you're kind of laughing and you're like, how did this shit actually happen? It was kind of a big thing. Like I was with a mate and I was like, how crazy is this guy? Like, this, this is hectic. And people might look at this movie and go, it's an action comedy. I don't think it's quite an action movie. There isn't necessarily some action scenes. I don't think it really gets ever serious. Like, Serious stuff may happen, but it's never a serious, you know, climax on what you're sitting in, you know, what the fuck's happening. I don't think that ever really happens, but there's definitely some funny bits, but it's not deliberately funny. It's not a comedy where he's making jokes that kind of just rolls into the movie, which is a really good thing to see. I definitely think this is, I don't really know what to call this. I'm just going to call it a biopic because that's really what it is, because it's hard to define it by one thing um, with this movie because it has very traits of thriller, action, comedy, and it works really well. Um, a few things with this movie, I think it isn't made tremendously well it is really engaging the story is definitely the best part about this movie the story and acting really pulls you in but when it comes to the cinematography it it bit a bit of tweaking there's some specific camera work that you, i kind of questioned um in this movie as well as uh you know it didn't really you know have the classic elements of a fantastic movie like a soundtrack wasn't you know noticeably fantastic or anything like that and uh you know so I, and it, I can't really compliment the writing too much because it's a true story. So obviously it wasn't them, you know, making the plot. Obviously they have to fill in the, some of the blanks and stuff. But, you know, it definitely was a great movie. I definitely really enjoyed this movie. It didn't have the, the fantastic traits of, a, of an, an A or even a B plus movie, but it was very entertaining. I think this is a movie I really enjoyed watching. Um, enjoyed watching Tom Cruise on the big screen and absolutely killing it. Uh, it, it has been kind of compared to... Uh, a poor man's Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, I don't think it quite had the the phenomenal Oscar-worthy stuff that Wolf of Wall Street had, but it definitely was very entertaining. Definitely had similar qualities to that movie. I, I'm going to give it a B. I think a B is a is a, a perfect rating. I haven't actually seen anyone else's 
reviews because this again isn't released in a month um a, a month you know prior this is australia they got it a month early i think majority countries get it a month early before america so it's hard because a lot of the big reviewers haven't reviewed it i don't know what they're thinking i could be giving a movie a b and everyone else could give it a d i don't know that's what i mean review is is it my opinion um so don't hate me too much don't crucify me if you don't like it because i think a big part of liking it is liking tom cruise if you don't like Tom Cruise, I think it will put off your put you off a little bit because it's very character heavy and story heavy that focuses on him and makes you enjoy the movie more if you like his performance and portrayal. But that is it. Uh, that is it, guys. I literally watched the movie a few hours ago, and again, I've seen a little bit of and decent ratings. I think it's got like a seven six at the moment on IMDb. They can go up, they can go down. I don't really know. Um, but it shows that I'm trying to get it out straight away. And in my opinion, I could have complete different opinions to other people, other reviewers. Whatever, that's the whole point of a review, so don't crucify me for it. Um, and uh, you guys know what to do. You guys can keep subscribed. You press that subscribe button so you can keep updated with videos. I'm fully updated with my reviews today. As I just said, I watched this movie today, and out a couple of hours ago. So I'm very quick onto this review. I'm probably going to get a Blu-ray update up maybe tomorrow. Um, probably tomorrow. Most likely. I'm probably going to film it next if I have enough time. So definitely be prepared for that, guys. Um, as well as I've got a rerun review and another movie review coming out this week. So you can press the subscribe button to stay up to date with that stuff. Watch my other reviews as well. You guys can like, comment below, get involved with the comments. I always love that. But of course, have a good one.